What's going on everyone, my name is Kodamart and welcome back to the New Beginner Java Game Program Tutorial Series Episode 29. Now in this episode we are going to work on getting mouse input. Now mouse input is really important for making menus and also to be able to, I don't know, potentially pick up items or shoot things in your games depending upon how you want your controls. So let's get to getting some mouse input. So in my input package over here, right click, go up to new class and I'm going to make, just like my key manager, a mouse manager class. Now this mouse manager class is going to have to implement, so it's going to implement, if I can spell, mouse listener, and we're going to put a comma mouse motion listener. We're going to need both of these to be active. So go ahead and import them, and we are going to add unimplemented methods, and I'm also going to toss in a constructor up here just so we have it. Now our mouse manager is going to work very similar as the uh, key manager did like you see here we have uh, I don't know booleans for up down left right and basically we have key pressed and key released that we use there well in the mouse manager we have things like mouse pressed and mouse released and we also have many other things you can experiment with but we are going to be using mouse pressed mouse released and mouse moved mouse moved will allow us to actually get the position of our mouse at any given point in time. Now I'm going to change all of these arguments instead of arg0 I'm just going to put e in for all of those. There we go just so that it's a bit easier to work with. So we have mouse pressed, mouse released, and mouse moved all taking in a mouse event as a parameter. So the main things that we're going to do just for now is keep track of whether the left or right mouse buttons are being pressed and also the current position of the mouse in our game window. So at the top here, we are going to create a few variables. We're going to have a private boolean, left pressed, and right pressed, like that. And I'm also going to have two private integers, left, or I'm sorry, I'm going to name it, I don't know, mouse x and mouse y. So those will hold the position of the mouse on the screen. Now in our mouse pressed method here, we have to figure out what button is being pressed. So we're going to do if e.getButton equals mouse event dot button one now button one is actually the left mouse button so if this event is being fired and we know that the left mouse button is being pressed here we are going to set our left pressed variable equal to true and we're going to do the same thing for the right mouse button so else if e dot get button equals mouse event dot button three now button three is actually the right mouse button button two is the middle mouse button i'm not going to implement that but if you want to you can we're going to set right pressed equal to true. And we're going to go ahead and copy all of this code here, and we're going to put it in the mouse released method. Because once one of those buttons is released or not being pressed anymore, we need to set these variables to false. So false. OK, so now we are essentially handling the mouse buttons. Now let's actually get to the position of the mouse. Now whenever the mouse is moved within our game window, this mouse moved event is going to be fired. So that's pretty convenient for us. We can use this to just store the mouse position. So we're going to set our mouse x variable equal to e.getx and our mouse y variable equal to e.gety. As simple as that. Now you can experiment with mouse dragged, clicked, entered, and exited. Those are fun to play with and they can actually give you some pretty cool functionality. But this is going to be for now our base mouse manager class. Now we are going to of course want to add a few helper methods. So here are our implemented methods and above here we're going to have some getters to get some variables. So we're going to have a public boolean is left pressed and we're just going to return left pressed. And we're going to do the same thing for of course the right mouse button. Let me spell that correct. Right pressed is right pressed like that. And of course we want to do the same to get the mouse position. So get mouse x will return mouse x. And the same for y. Get mouse y, return mouse y. This is now our completed mouse manager class for at least this tutorial. We have the basics and that should be pretty good. So after this mouse manager class, we have to actually add it into our game so that it'll work. So head on into your game.java class and where we set up the key manager, we'll also put a private mouse manager object and create a mouse manager object. Make sure you import your own class. And down in the game constructor, we want to set the mouse manager equal to a new mouse manager. I can't talk today. So we create our mouse manager. And before I forget, down where we have the get key manager um, method, we are going to have a public mouse manager get mouse manager method. This way we can get the mouse manager 
from another class. So after we have that, we actually need to implement the mouse manager. So inside of our init method here, we add the key manager right here to our frame of our display class. So we are going to go ahead and do a very similar thing. Display dot get frame dot add mouse listener and we're going to pass in our mouse manager but we also have in our in that same class so we're going to do the same thing add mouse motion listener because we implemented both mouse listener and mouse motion listener so we have to set both of them to the same thing but this won't work or it might work but it might be extremely glitchy depending upon what elements in our jframe are currently focused so if we just do this, it probably won't work for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these lines and paste it right below. But instead of get frame, we have to get our canvas object. So we are adding the mouse motion listener and mouse listener to both our J frame and our canvas object. That way, whichever one of them is currently focused in our game, whichever one is currently active, will actually fire mouse events. If we only had JFrame, it probably wouldn't work for you. Same goes for Canvas, depending upon certain computers and certain situations, and also how we set up our game. So it's important that you do that right there. So now we essentially have our mouse manager set up and hopefully running. We're gonna do a few housekeeping things first. We're gonna go into our handler.java, and we are just going to add a method to get our mouse manager. So get mouse manager like that return game that get mouse manager just to make it a little bit easier and go ahead and import it and also I'm just going to go ahead and kind of set up a really basic menu state just to get this working and to see if we have our mouse manager working because chances are you're going to use your mouse on your menu so in our init method here where we set the state I'm going to set it to menu state instead of game state. And of course, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for testing, but it's a good idea to get up your menu states now. And also where we have our private states, I'm just gonna change these to public just for easeability. It might not be the best practice, but I'm just gonna change them to public. That way we can access them much easier. All right, now let's see if this mouse manager works. In my menu state, because that's what I'm now using, we're just gonna make sure we have the basics working. So we're gonna system.out.println. Uh, I don't know, mouse x, the x position, I don't even need to print any in. We'll just do handler dot get mouse manager dot get mouse x. And I'm just gonna print out a few spaces. And then handler dot get mouse mouse manager dot get mouse y. So we'll print out the current position of the mouse on the screen. So if we go ahead and run our game here, Notice how I now have a blank screen because I'm in my menu state, which isn't rendering anything. And in the console below there, you can just barely see everything flying by. As I move my mouse around, those printout values change depending upon where my mouse is. That is awesome. So we can now get the position of our mouse anywhere on our screen. And it uses the same exact coordinate system as we draw. So if we want to see this, we can actually do, I don't know, g.setColor, I'll just set it uh, to red. And we'll just render something really quick here. And we'll do g.fillerect, and we will use handler that gets mouse manager, get mouse x, and the y of the mouse position for these parameters. And for width and height, I don't know, I'll just throw in eight as values. This can be anything you want. So what we are doing is we're drawing a rectangle at the position of the mouse. So as you can see, this little red rectangle will follow my mouse wherever it goes. If I go off the screen, it just kind of stops at the edge of the screen. Our mouse listeners don't work as we go off of the screen. But now we can see that our mouse manager is working properly and getting the right positions for us. Now you can go ahead and design a quick menu state if you want. Maybe try implementing some basic UI buttons of your own. But for me right now, I'm just going to leave this test code in there. And in my tick method, I am going to switch to the game state if both the left and right mouse buttons are being pressed, just to see if our mouse buttons are actually working. So if handler get mouse manager dot get or I'm sorry dot is left pressed, and handler dot get mouse manager dot is right pressed. So if both mouse buttons are being pressed, I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, state dot set state to our handler dot get game dot game state. So we'll reset the state to our game state, that way we can get out of our menu state. So here's our menu straight state. If I click my left button, nothing happens. My right button, nothing happens. But if I click both at once, we switch on over to our game state and everything works perfectly. 
So that's it. We have mouse motion and mouse listeners set up in our game that will provide us with a ton of functionality in the near future. So let me know what you guys want to see next. Shooting, maybe close combat items. Let me know guys, we have to utilize this mouse manager somehow, right? Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.